All right, guys, welcome to your 10th PHP tutorial. And now that we are ensured that all of our stuff has tables, we can go ahead and take that information and throw it into a table. So let me just go ahead and make another string SQL. <laughs> See, it freaking happened again, man. I'm freaking getting ticked off by the dropkick my dumb computer. SQL3, and we'll set this equal to. Ooh, don't want that. Now, in order to insert information in MySQL, you use the keyword insert into, and then you go ahead and write the name of the table that you want to insert information into. That's the cool thing about MySQL. It's very uh, like a layman's term. So now, since this table has a whole bunch of columns in it, you need to write the columns that you want to insert, and you need to write these in the exact order that you're going to be inserting the data. So date, open, high, low, close, volume, amount, change, and there's a freaking fly flying on my freaking head, amount, underscore, change, and also, what's it, percent, I keep thinking percentage for some reason, percent, change, so actually, let me go ahead and make sure I have this right real quick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And hopefully I have eight up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're good so far. So now we say, okay, insert into table name, and these are the columns that we want to insert information to. However, now we got to write what values we want to insert into them. So values, and now right after values, it's like the same thing, but you write the names of the values. So oh, this is going to take a while. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now that I got that out of the way, all we need to do is basically grab these variables and throw them into these. This might take a little bit. What am I going to talk to you guys about while I'm doing this? nothing because I need to concentrate quit trying to distract me alright so date open I gotta remember them all again high low close high low close now this is usually when I tell you guys a funny story or something while you guys are just waiting but uh, in this case I actually need to make sure I don't mess any of this up so volume and what's the other ones amount change amount change and percent change not percentage Bucky get that out of your head and I'm also forgetting to delete my one extra comment at the end so now this looks pretty good and let me just make sure okay everything looks pretty dang good so now what we can do is remember for the last time this isn't a query yet we're not running any mysql all we're doing is we created a string why did we do that because in this line we can go ahead and run our query and it doesn't look you know like a crazy super long function so now what we did is basically created a table and inserted the data all this data into the table the appropriately named table so now after this check it out you see all of this happens whenever it's looping through a file whenever you're done looping through a file you need to close that file so the file the name of that file we stored it in an object called file so after the loop is done just go ahead and hit F close and as a parameter it takes that file just like that and that is just because you don't want your file open or else it's going to take resources and not only in PHP but any computer program even if they say then it's not necessary to close your files close them anyways okay it's just good practice so guys I got good news this function is completely done that is how you take a text file like this and you insert it into a database table however this entire uh, uh, what's it called file is not done 
that's kind of confusing because this is a file and I'm saying this this entire script is not done yet because what we need to do is we need to create one more main function that calls create URL then get CSV file then file to database and that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial I think there's only one tutorial or maybe two left to go for um, this file but anyways enough of me talking just go ahead and uh, you know jump to the next tutorial now thank you guys for watching oh and don't forget to add me on Google Plus I'll see you later